The focus of today's class will be water. Water, composed of hydrogen and oxygen, H2O, is vital for human existence. It's neutral, colorless, odorless, and tasteless. Making up two-thirds of the body, it regulates essential bodily functions. Functions of water in the body. Water serves as the medium for the transportation of substances from one part of the body to another. It regulates body temperature. It quenches thirst. Dietary deficiency. Some diseases are caused by the lack or shortage of specific nutrients in the meals we take. When this happens, one begins to show signs of health imbalance. Diseases caused due to excess or lack of specific nutrients are called malnutrition. There are two types of malnutrition. Undernutrition, which is a condition resulting from an inadequate intake of food or poor utilization of nutrients in food, while overnutrition means excessive intake of one or more nutrients to the detriment of proper functioning in the body system. Types of malnutrition. Kwashiorkor, it is mostly common in children and is caused largely by the lack of protein in the diet. Symptoms, enlarged stomach, hair changes color and looks thin, swollen legs, the child looks miserable, skin becomes scaly, retardation of growth and development. Treatment, protein-rich food should be increased in the child's diet. Marasmus is a protein calorie deficiency disease. Symptoms include stunted growth, emaciation, and saggy body tissue. Treatment involves a diet rich in protein, particularly animal protein along with other protein-rich foods. Gradually increasing calorie intake according to the child's age is essential. Anemia, the deficiency is caused by inadequacy of iron in the diet. It is common with children and women, as women lose blood regularly during menstruation and childbirth. Symptoms, weakness, fainting, paleness of skin. Treatment, the diet should include liver, eggs, spinach, etc. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.